नमस्ते एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल क्यूबिड एजुकेशनल सर्विसेज वी आर सॉल्विंग द एस आर एफ टी यू टेस्ट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन फिजिक्स एम सी क्यूज एंड दिस इज गोइंग टू बी अवर फिफ्थ वीडियो इन दैट सीरीज वेयर वी विल बी सॉल्विंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फ्रॉम द पेपर लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट फर्स्ट कंसिडर टू लॉन्ग थिन कंडक्टर्स एंड बी ईच कैरिंग करंट आई एच शोन इन द फिगर कंसिडरिंग कंडक्टर ए टू बी फिक्सड विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स इज करेक्ट B experiences a net force along positive x-axis, a net anti-clockwise torque, a net force along negative x-axis, and finally, a net clockwise torque. Okay, so let us first uh, uh, recognize the locations of the conductors A and B. So where is conductor A situated? Conductor A is situated in the z-x plane. It is situated in the z-x plane and Uh, it is along x-axis. Uh, well, rather parallel to x-axis, I should say. Parallel to x-axis, as you can see here. Okay, it's got parallel to x. Where is conductor B? Conductor B is along y-axis. Conductor B is along y-axis. Okay. Now we have to identify the or correctly recognize uh, whether there is a net force acting on B, or there is net torque acting on B. Okay, now who will exert the force first of all, or who will uh, what will constitute the torque? Okay, for that we have to recall the formula. F bar equal to I L bar cross B bar. Okay, F bar is equal to I L bar cross B bar. If you remember, this formula can be derived from the basic formula of Lorentz force. Okay, magnetic force on a charge moving with velocity V bar in the magnetic field V bar. Correct. Okay. So what uh, this current here, this current here is going to refer to not conductor A, because we are interested in calculating the force, net force on B. So it is current flowing through B. So this this is the current. Okay. L bar is going to be a length vector along the current of the conductor B. And what about B bar? B bar is not the magnetic field that will be created due to conductor B. Yes, it will create its own magnetic field. but that magnetic field will not be exerting any force on b itself in fact it will be exerting forces on a but we are not interested in that rather it's the opposite conductor a carries uh, current electric current therefore it will create its own magnetic field and that magnetic field that magnetic field is b bar okay that magnetic field is b bar okay so i and l bar are related to conductor b the magnetic field b bar itself is related to conductor Okay, so I hope that is clear. What force are we actually finding? Okay, next part is using symmetry because definitely we only need to determine the uh, I would say the whether it is a force or a torque. We are not interested in determining the actual magnitude of the force or torque because that will require us integration. Okay, so we'll deal with this uh, problem qualitatively, and we are going to make use of symmetry. okay we are going to make use of symmetry so what exactly uh, do we intend to do here let us imagine let us imagine two very small portions of the conductor b on either side of the conductor a okay so let us consider uh, one portion of the conductor somewhere here okay and let us say the y coordinate here is positive a comma 0 and let us also consider its mirror image along the uh, about the zx plane about the zx plane wherein the y coordinate will be negative of a okay so both are equidistant from the zx plane but one is above it and one is below it correct okay now because their lengths are same okay because their lengths are same they carry the same current the direction of the force on those uh, current elements due to current carrying conductor a they will only differ in sign or in the direction their magnitude will still be the same okay so well that is actually going to lead to a torque but we still don't know okay so we have to calculate it okay so uh, let us now consider the magnetic field created by a in particular its direction okay so let we are going to use the right hand uh, screw rule so Uh, let us curl the fingers of our right hand, and let us outstretch the thumb. 
let the thumb point the, the direction of the current so it should be pointing from left to right and uh, the direction of the curled fingers will tell us the direction of the magnetic field lines there okay so uh, you can very easily see that if we look at the conductor portion okay or a current element which is above the zx plane here the direction of the magnetic field due to a is going to be towards us right okay and quite opposite the other way okay so if you look at the direction of the magnetic field on this part the one that is below the current element that is below the zx plane the magnetic field there will be pointing away from us okay so uh, what we will now do is we'll draw a magnified view of this okay we'll draw the magnified view of this and uh, this is it this is our uh, x axis okay this is our x axis and uh, this is y this is y okay this is y axis and the current you can see okay so yeah, the current is i the same current correct correct okay okay let's also show the magnetic fields here it is dot and here it is cross okay here it is cross now the uh, il bar quantity the current element vector okay its direction will always be along positive y yes the only thing that is changing its direction is the magnetic field okay so it is now fixed that it will be torque but now i have to determine whether it is clockwise torque or anti clockwise torque and to calculate it we must calculate the direction of the force okay so how are we going to do that let us consider the bottom part okay let us consider the current element which is below the z axis plane okay now let us uh, use the left hand rule for cross product of vectors uh the middle finger is going to point along the current okay so the middle finger will be pointing upwards the middle finger will be pointing upwards okay now what about uh magnetic fields direction the magnetic fields direction must be given by the index finger the one that is between the thumb and the middle finger okay and if you are uh, orient or if you uh align your right hand uh, left hand sorry uh, align your left hand in this position so that the current is pointing upwards the middle finger upwards index finger towards the screen and that's right because it is cross that means it is going away from us towards the screen the thumb is going to point the direction of the force okay the thumb is going to point the direction of the force which means in this case it will be towards left okay and sin theta is 1 here because theta is 90 so this will be fr on the bottom part okay now what has changed for the uh, one that is above the z zx plane that is for this conductor only the direction of the magnetic field has changed isn't it the magnetic field was previously pointing away from us and now it is pointing towards us which means the force here has to be equal in magnitude but opposite in direction f top see because uh let's say we are estimating f bottom it will be i l bar cross b bar correct now if we wish to estimate f top it will be i l bar cross negative b bar so it has to be negative of f bottom correct yes so what is the answer it's torque it's confirmed that it's torque now but what about the direction of the torque for the direction of the torque let us imagine that there is a rod on which uh, two forces are being applied top end being pulled towards right bottom end being pulled pulled towards left okay so how is going to be the rotation the rotation is going to be like this okay so it will be clockwise so correct option is b experiences a net clockwise torque net clockwise So question 50 answer D in the next video we will be solving question number 15